What's up guys, this is Webby back again for your WWE Payback Preview and Predictions. First off, just like to remind you all to go back and watch anything you've missed on my channel so far. Raw Review, the rumor that Shelton Benjamin is now in question of coming to the WWE. Go back and check those two podcasts out along with so much other content out there. Go back and check it out. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video. And follow me on Twitter and Facebook at 2007Webby. Now, payback. This pay-per-view will be the conclusion of so many rivalries. Will be the epic confrontation between Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns. It will be the start of a new rivalry between Alexa Bliss and Bailey. So many things happening at Payback. You know, when I really think of Payback, I really wish WWE would have waited to do the roster shakeup because it really makes some of these matches so predictable. I mean, so predictable. Kevin Owens versus Chris Jericho for the United States Championship. When Kevin Owens, the face of America, tries to put down Chris Jericho and all his friends. We know what's going to happen. We know Kevin Owens is going to retain the United States Championship. Absolutely. It was by far the most entertaining rivalry on Monday Night Raw. For so long, those two had great dynamics as a tag team, and, you know, it was really enjoyable to watch them. But now that Kevin Owens is on SmackDown, and we know Chris Jericho is going to go record with Fozzie, it's kind of like, eh, this match is going to be good to watch a week from Sunday at Payback. But Kevin Owens is going to be the victor. No question about that. The Hardy Boys versus Cesaro and Sheamus. This matchup going to be a good tag team encounter. No question. I see the Hardy Boys walking out. Still your WWE Raw tag team champions. Can't see Cesaro and Sheamus taking the titles off of the Hardys just yet. Can't see any tag team doing that just yet. However, Cesaro and Sheamus are definitely a tag team that will put on a good matchup with the Hardy Boys. Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe. This rivalry has been brewing for quite some time. Ever since Triple H first came out and said, you want me, Seth Rollins, you want to come and interrupt my show, I'm the destroyer, I created you, and now I'm going to destroy you, and Samoa Joe took out Seth Rollins, tore his ligaments and all that stuff, this has been brewing for quite some time, these guys cut an awesome promo on Monday Night Raw, Samoa Joe aptly putting it that he's going to get revenge on Seth Rollins for putting Stephanie McMahon through a table. He's going to get payback on Seth Rollins for using Triple H's move on him and beating him at WrestleMania 33. So... Seth Rollins is going to get payback on Samoa Joe for 
almost ending his career, so on and so forth. Should be a great matchup. I really see Seth Rollins going over here, continuing to mow down all of Triple H's hand men, his pit destroyers, until Stephanie comes back and they pick up where they left off. So now, that should be very an enjoyable matchup. Neville versus Austin Aries for the Cruiserweight Championship. This matchup, really hard to choose. Do they really want to take the Cruiserweight Championship off of Neville? Neville has been doing a fantastic job as one of the best heels on Monday Night Raw. He's been doing a fantastic job as a Cruiserweight Champion. But when you really stop and think about everybody that's on the Cruiserweight division, who else is going to take the title off of Neville? Who else is capable that they've been building up? Nobody. Really. So, I'm going to go with Austin Aries here. They've been building up this rivalry enough. WrestleMania, they couldn't do that. It wasn't a built-up rivalry enough. They only did it for like two, three weeks. They've done it long enough now. It's been a big enough rivalry now. Austin Aries to take the Cruiserweight Championship away from Neville. Bailey versus Alexa Bliss. This matchup, hey, look. Alexa Bliss is in it. Going to be a great contest. Bailey, she is entertaining and always puts on a great match as well. I see both of these ladies having good dynamics with each other. And does Alexa Bliss take the title off of Bailey? Very questionable. Not sure if they do that just yet. It hasn't been a big enough rivalry. They might pull the trigger on it, though. Bailey, I'm going to say, walks out the victor here at payback. And then maybe at the next Raw pay-per-view, Alexa Bliss takes the title away from her. One match I see WWE adding is The Miz versus Dean Ambrose for the Intercontinental Championship. This matchup, you know... I'm not real invested in. And the reason why is because we saw it so much on SmackDown Live. We saw it so much on SmackDown Live. These two had a pretty good rivalry over on SmackDown. But Dean Ambrose is going to walk out the victor if they make this match official for payback. And, you know, there you go. I mean... The Miz goes over the Raw, and he's going to get used to lose his rivalries on Raw and to do Miz TV segments. That's it. So, Dean Ambrose will walk out the victor here. Pretty good, I guess, build. It's what you to expect. Miz TV segments. You know, Miz has treated Dean Ambrose exactly the way kind of he treated John Cena, except he used different words, saying, Dean Ambrose, you know, he's been handed things and didn't take advantage of the things he's been given. And Dean Ambrose saying he has heart, he likes hardcore style wrestling, doesn't mind tooth, teeth being in his nose, and, you know, does this for the fans, and he's going to go and destroy The Miz, pretty much. And that's it. And Maurice being in the middle of them and slapping everybody, and that's what she's best at. Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. This matchup, no question in my mind, will get a stipulation this coming Monday on Monday Night Raw. This matchup has been about one thing. Getting Braun Strowman built up. Absolutely. So far, he has been 
dominating Roman Reigns. He has been destroying Roman Reigns. Put him in an ambulance, tipped him over, threw him off a fourth cliff. Absolutely destruction all over Roman Reigns. Braun Strowman has literally, literally been a monster among men all over the competition, breaking down the ring with a big show, taking out the trash with Kalisto, injuring the golden truth. Question is, will Roman Reigns come back and get his payback on Braun Strowman? We will all find out week from Sunday at Payback. Honestly, I hope Strowman goes over because if he ends up doing exactly what the rumors says he's going to do and that's face Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship, he needs a win. And finally, the Viper, Randy Orton, Versus the Eater of Worlds, Bray Wyatt. This contest, the WWE Championship is on the line. You know, this matchup, you know, it sounds very intriguing. It, it, it sounds promising. It sounds like it's going to be one of those matches that... And it's going to be like the Wyatt Family Compound matchup between the Wyatts and, and, and the New Day. It sounds like it's going to have, you know, flickering lights. It's going to have the barn where Sister Abigail was burnt down. It, it sounds like it's going to have all these different types of things. Trees. Maybe cars, all different types of stuff. And then, Randy Orton's going to win. You know, Randy Orton will be victorious and then go on to face Jinder Mahal. This match, I really wish WWE would have saved for backlash. This match, I really wish... They would have not done the, the, the roster shakeup. They would have waited until after the, like the first SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view. Or after the first Raw exclusive pay-per-view. And then done like this huge brand split. You know, roster shakeup after the Raw exclusive pay-per-view. And then done new rivalries. Something like that. Because it really just ruins this matchup for me and I know for a lot of people. When you take the WWE Championship, your single most important title, I realize WWE pushes the Universal Championship to be the be-all, end-all title. It really... The WWE Championship, for me, stands out to be the most important. It feels more important. And when you have a brand split and you put the number one contender on the different show, how can we stay invested in that match? And plus... You've already pinpointed whose rivalry Brandy, uh, Bray Wyatt is going to be in with next. And that's Finn Balor. He's already talked to Finn Balor on the Titan Shrine a couple weeks ago. Randy Orton's already going to be in the rivalry of Jinder Mahal. So... It's hard to get invested in this. It's going to be an intriguing matchup. It's going to be a good matchup. I hope it's not a flop. But Randy Orton's going to be victorious. 
That is WWE Payback. Should be a pretty good show. Should be an intriguing show. However, a lot of these matches are pretty predictable on who's going to win. Y'all let me know what you're thinking. Do you think that this show is predictable? Do you think that this show is intriguing? Do you even want to see Payback a week from Sunday? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe. Remember to subscribe. Remember to like this video. And remember to like me on Twitter and Facebook at 2007Webby. Until I see you again, this is Webby, and I will catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.